<laughs> oh, I bet she remembers it real well. But All right, yeah. we're, we're live again, Jason. <laughs> hey, so for the stream uh, and for my sanity, here's our edit point. <laughs> because I don't know, it's <laughs> fucking lightning. Cut. And I don't know. We have, have has anyone made a sacrifice to Satan tonight because some shit's not right. Uh, I made one last night. Last night. I forgot to do. I, I made one last night. Okay. I'm pretty sure <laughs> Byron's on the uh, installment plan. What so. time what time last night because if it was, you know. That's not, uh, yeah, it was after I guess 11. To, technically it was today. So, because it was about two o'clock in the morning. So. Yeah, so I think I'll I'll pick up where so we were talking about Tyler, and then where'd you go after that? I think uh, uh, it was coming to you next. Uh, <gasps> yeah, probably coming to you. Coming I was. You. I was talking about Archer. It's like that. that oh yeah. And so it was that awkward moment so. when you were in break dancing and somebody passed it off to you and you weren't prepared to receive the dance. Uh, like exactly you didn't have that was like you didn't have the zippers open on your Michael Jackson jacket. Yeah, ogre for hire right. is like what happened? You, you, you didn't have your glove on. Yeah. <laughs> it was a, it, it, had to find it. It, it was an internet over. enema. Sorry about that. I'm about to show off my dog. So I got internet you know, enema. Yeah. Hi. I got this thing. So this thing is Ugh. this thing is hi. He's ten weeks old. He's twenty Aww. he's twenty six pounds. Ooh. He's gonna be about hundred and sixty when he's grown. His Ooh. name is Archer and he's gonna be the star of a where can I get one for um, like ten bucks? Nowhere. <laughs> ten bucks. I'll send you a picture. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. keep shitting on the floor. <laughs> Tyler, I'll send you some feet pics of his for ten bucks. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so Isn't the whole OnlyFans? <laughs> so, so, so we're gonna, link. Post the so, link in the so chat. We're gonna, we're gonna do our own Myth Brigade OnlyFans. I'm gonna vomit the dog's yeah. feet pics, yeah. and uh, we'll get everyone's gotta get some. Yeah, I, so. I think you should tell him it's a pic. <laughs> it, it should be like this is a pic of Archer's foot, and then let him open it, and it's really a pic of your foot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a, that's quite a foot. And it anyway, be dipped in mayonnaise, goddamn. Oh, yeah. well, that's some Whoa. cat fishing right there. And not that miracle so whip shit. Right? Not that miracle whip <laughs> shit either. Like full on fucking Hellman's. Better shit better be Hellman's. Fucking hell, dude. All right. So on the heels of the mayonnaise foot, other than that, mayonnaise foot pictures and stuff, I've just been focusing on uh I don't know, dude. I'm happy to be here playing games. Work sucks. Um we had to cancel our last session for uh, uh Vile Dawn, last minute, drama time. Uh, so that was sad. Um one more. But yeah, so uh, dude, Ogre for Hire, by the way, is running a Deadlands game. Send me, hey, pop a link in the chat and let me yell about it so it shows up on YouTube. Like, uh, I'll put it in the description. I put a lot of stuff in the description. Deadlands game is going in. Yeah. Anywho, Byron, I'm fine. I'm happy Sweet. to be playing. I'm really happy to see these faces. I miss these guys, and I'm just ready to. We have audio hardware that should not ever jitter again. Yeah, even though we had problems with it. <laughs> Should is it? No, we, 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 we had different. Yeah, no, it was just, it was a compressor on the microphone, but yeah, it's fine. All right. So when we last left off, there was that the team had made entry to what they believed was Lilith's compound. They got past a few guards, found a few interesting things out. Like the fact that the chain guns were painted towards the doorway and not towards the in and out door, that they were painted towards the center, pointed towards the center of the complex. With some clever stealth and some spot on uh, pistol shooting, they disabled the camera and made their way across the inner courtyard to the main building of the archaeological site. Uh, in the Judean desert uh, that Lilith was using as a compound. They made their way inside uh, to come face to face with a uh, female archaeologist or scientist, along with uh, a guard. Mm. Um, they executed them in cold blood. Um, and then all of a sudden, yeah. they realized that Female scientist was not just regular female scientist, but vampiric female scientist. Which so makes a lot it's, of it's difference. It's a mistake anybody could make. It does anybody could make yeah. that mistake. Right. 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 Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, after some interesting fighting and so forth, and the fact that uh, 
you know, uh, Tesla's arm looks like what's left of a plate after a BW3's drunken episode. <laughs> uh, you've got uh, chicken wings is kind of flapping a little bit, probably making some little uh, noises. And, you know, it's crackling and popping. And, uh, you know, not Popeye's chicken. Like, definitely it's going to need more than buffalo sauce for his arm. Um, however... Uh, they managed to uh, to take down uh, the vampire that they believed, at least, was Lola. Uh, at that point, uh, most of the other guards uh, kind of made their way away from the facility. We're going to assume that a, a good handful met their demise at the hands of the team. And, you know, a couple of empty clips here and there and so forth. Um so my question would be, is would the team have um, maybe saved anyone for interrogation purposes? Probably. <laughs> I like that. Tyler's like noncommittal. I mean, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? By round of applause. <laughs> or was this a, a full on a song? I mean, after we took care of who we assumed was Lilith, I would assume we would uh, take somebody hostage to find out what they know. Sure. Mm. Also, did we have time to rummage the place a little bit and see if we can yes. verify identities? Or Oh, absolutely. 100%. You guys are free to uh, uh, go through the facility and find all the information and stuff that you uh, need. Break into that or computer one. system sure. if there is one. Yeah, yeah, there is a so um, the archaeological site does go down um, several levels um, and ends where they are um, basically unearthing some sort of tomb um, from back uh, very early in in the historical period, um, somewhere around the Babylonian times and so forth. Um, and they do, you do find a, um, a sarcophagus, uh, with nothing in it, um, that is a jar. So it's very easy to tell that there's nothing in it. It's not like, uh, you have to remove the lid and figure it out. That was the sarcophagus. Um, I'm sorry? Seth, that was sarcophagus, not a jar. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So we're just gonna move. We're gonna this. pause now while Byron <laughs> goes now. to the other side of that stairwell for a minute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, he, he doesn't want to get beat up. <laughs> hey, Tyler, Tyler, here, hold on. On three, slap yourself. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyhow, so uh, so yeah, so you guys have looked through uh, a lot of material. Um, there are some. Uh, computers down here. There is a, a bank with several servers uh, containing a, a plethora of information. Uh, there is some actual archaeological um, artifacts and such that are stored in uh, cases to keep them from um, oxidizing or being exposed to the, um, the surrounding uh, environment. Uh, and so forth. Uh, there is a, uh, a, a lab section, um, both set up for both what looks like a, a physical lab uh, for looking at uh, medical patients and so forth. And there is also a um, like an archaeological uh, clean room style lab uh, for looking at artifacts, relics, things of that nature. Uh, there is quite uh, a, a find down here. Um, like I said, um, you know, and like I said, you got, uh, you know, six or seven guards probably they, you know, bought it during some firefights and stuff like that. Uh, you probably taken one of them captive. Uh, I could picture, um, I'm not trying to take away player agency or anything like that, but I could picture, you know, uh, Dr. Mitchell having some sort of sedative handy, uh, to be able to put a trauma out. kid, of course. Yeah, to, to put somebody down for a limited amount of time. After we put um, Tesla's bone back in this bone this week. Yeah, so... Um, I'm going to ask Evan to, to help me get Tesla into the infirmary um, mm. for an exam I, and all that. Yeah, I, can, I can walk, don't worry. I'm just sweating 
and yeah. like really in ridiculous amounts of pain, obviously. Yeah, um, there's like, I don't need anyone to carry me. Is that I a think, drumstick or a there, there's definitely a lot wrong with your arm, but you can't quite put your finger on it. So so Byron, I think <laughs> still oh, yeah. still in the throes of this sort of animalistic shit that just happened. I think I'm just like, you're gonna hate me for this. And I I pick him up and I'm gonna just Come on, I, I'm going to, like, obviously he's hurt, and he's going to make it worse, and I'm going to s- scoop him up. Yeah, uh, walking with him like couple, that is not I a good idea. Move my arm in a way I didn't want to. <laughs> you, you do it for yeah. me. You, you do it for me, and I wink so, at him. <laughs> so funny enough, Tesla, your arm only moves in the directions you don't want it to. <laughs> this is where the evident Tesla fan fiction's come from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you'd seen those. I mean, sorry. Yeah, it's good. I'm not right showing them to me. <laughs> yeah, he's, I mean, he's he's not like doing the robot anytime soon. <laughs> uh, he might do it a long time. He's only doing, doing the drumstick or oh, the yeah. flat. <laughs> <laughs> the drumstick, mostly just the flat side. Yeah, the flat's <laughs> like this, right? So it's gonna be like stuck like this. For a it's a lot, a lot of flat. There's yeah, but I think flat. so. Th- there's the one arm that's super fucked up, but I think there's the the partner carry, right? So I come to the other side, and I'm like, you know, just kind of you do it for me, and I pat him on the. Sh- well, no, I don't. So her, I start. I'm like, oh, like, I, come on, and I. Here, I'll make I this better him. for you, and just rips his arm. Off. <laughs> <laughs> now that's bone spikes. I just, I just kind of, I just kind of whisper, and I'm like, I'm like, it's fine. I forgive you. Just you got any right before open? you pass out? I mean, like, yeah. As he's as about to pass out, right from the pain of us dragging him along, I'm like, you smell delicious. Because <laughs> he gives his neck a sweet kiss, like <laughs> and a, and a little lick, licks <laughs> right off the ball. Just a little lick right over the jugular. Tesla might yeah. have imagined that he lingered a moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that didn't. That didn't. That didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, but we we get him to a safe place. I, I take the weight of his journey off of his, you know, shoulder or leg yeah. or whatever got ripped Great. out of his ass or whatever. You're a good <laughs> wingman. <laughs> fuck, fuck. <laughs> you're like he's like he's like evan you can always be my ring man i'll be like your in his f- best tom cruise voice i'll be like tesla so sadly your future in the cadbury egg commercials is over <laughs> that case to bunny Ow, ow. <laughs> no. You just know that I'm I'm already like texting Lily that um for Christmas we're we're giving Tesla a shirt that's that uh says Evan can my wingman. <laughs> we're gonna have this made. Oh. Brent Brent will seriously burn that in effigy. <laughs> right. We should sure. actually oh, get I, it. I, I, although it would be a kick ass shirt. It would. Yeah. Let's make just a shout out. I think just a shout out to the stream. No, I think we should yeah, all have them. again. Shout out to Corvus the Mad for uh, subscribing. Yeah, Brent. hell yeah! Hi Corvus, welcome. How do you even do that? I I tried. I clicked on that, and yeah, I you I have to link your Twitch account with your Amazon account. Yeah, and then you can subscribe okay. through Prime. And it's offline again. It yeah, broke. it's broken, Jason. Fix so it. So what's weird? So we're fine, right? Uh, right. So this is Twitch. <laughs> It has to be. Yeah, yeah, it's Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker. Oh. The Mother. Twitch is having... Yeah, we're, we're perfect. Here's, here's my Evo cat. Oh. Hey, the dog Hi, Utter before. Kitty. She's very angry. And utter utter, utter Kitty. Let me just... Utter, utter Kitty. Cat. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> we're back. So, yeah, Twitch is being angry. Are we? Yeah, Twitch we are. Is. Yeah, yeah, we're at. Yep, oh, so we're live now. Oh. I gotta go see where my dog is. So, so for, those, for those who see this later, we are fine on zoom but literally just clean and fine and ping rate for, is for once yeah right for once and, it's uh, not us yeah so twitch is being mean to us so, it is. sorry told you should have been a planning mean. session <laughs> it is isn't that right i you know what i think i don't know what happens <laughs> So I think uh, once people are back in, uh, we need to invite them to tell us what we were supposed to do next. I like it. Yeah. We could take a poll. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> could take I like a poll. That. 
Yeah, since only two people watch this stream, like no, that's not know, true. Be, that's not true. We were, we were at like eight. We were at eight at, uh, early before on. it exploded. Oh yeah, that's all of us too, though. So. I know. Not me. It, it doesn't matter. Not me. I'm not. It's still eight. It's still eight people. Well, I'm one of them. Archers. I'm one. Archers. I'm, me too. I, I'm one. Of them. There's three. There's three out of eight. And we're the three watching right now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, but it's it'll climb back up and people will be like, "What happened?" And I'll be like, "I don't know." That's me. <laughs> oh shit, Zamtarak! Hey, listen, we're high. That's, that's me, Jason. Oh, that's you. So that's fuck off, saying. dude. What are you even in here for, you dirty bitch? All right, I'm gonna be quiet. Let's get back to Tesla's <laughs> chicken wing. Yeah. Get your fucked up arm. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. So, yeah, he's so, uh, you know, uh, so where are we in like the um, hierarchy of priority of what we're doing here? Are we going to split the party a little bit and investigate some different things? I mean, or, I think we have to because I'm, um, I'm so we have like the interrogation. We have to, uh, after we really clear the compound, probably checking on up, Tesla. investigate some other stuff. Um, I, mean, I feel I would, like my I, priority I, I, is Tesla. I, I, well, here, here's what I, I mean. I, I would tell you guys, I'm like, listen. It's like, once we're out of here, we're not coming back. It's like, don't worry about me. I'll just try to keep up with you guys while you're collecting all this stuff. And then we can look at this later. I mean, um, I, 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 I mean, uh, if I haven't gone into shock yet, I'm not going to go into shock now. So <clears throat> I ignore him and direct guys. Evan to place him on the, on the exam table. Um, because he's clearly in shock. Um, the like, diaphoresis and everything. Yeah. I'm like, just go, just go check out the computers. Uh, let her handle this. So, so funny enough that while there isn't one here in the, um, there is actually even in the medical side, they use it for some of the um, archaeological things too. Is there is an X-ray? Oh, so you would be able to actually do some radiological exam. Oh, to see what kind of damage and stuff. Uh, it, it's not an MRI. I mean, like, which, I mean I'm not sure if I want to know. Tesla. It's clearly going to be. There's finally an opportunity for us to determine what it is that's lodged in your ass all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just, I'm thinking to myself, like, he's so hurt that this is the only time I can get digs in without him punching me in the face or whatever and like hurting <laughs> he me. He isn't punching anything. Or for like a while. putting C4 up my ass. Down that arm. <laughs> 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 Where, where I saw a light bulb go off over Evan's head the minute we saw the x-ray machine. I was waiting to hear what, the, what it was. You're That's you're it. so lucky that the, what I'm about to give him will wipe his memory for a brief period of time. Now you can bite him. Is there, I mean, do you have anything, <laughs> do you have a variety that will wipe his memory for, say, a longer period of time? Speaking of wiping, I, I will wipe the, the, the vampiric uh, saliva <laughs> off of the metal table. Uh, Evan, perhaps you should search the machines and I can assist the doctor. Right. You seem to be mm, distracted. I'll handle the interrogation. Well enough. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I will find my way to the computer. Well, I, the computer. Where, where's the corpse of the, uh, of the van? We haven't addressed this, so I'm assuming. You can, you can put it wherever you want. No, no. My question is, where did we put it? I don't. Oh, no one corpse? said. I thought it turned to dust. Did it? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, that well, sounds I right. It did. I believe it did. Oh, I, okay. I, I believe it literally like collapsed in on itself and was utterly destroyed. Is the way you described it, basically. Yeah. There you go. And that's what happened. I so, mean, honestly, yeah. anybody else remember that or just uh, <laughs> it I sounds do familiar? <laughs> Dust, like well, honestly, I don't remember. So yeah, sort of so crumbling, like you know, the aging yeah. thing, and then disintegrating. So yeah, so, that, that's what I recall. Evan, so. knowing that he'll be quick with the computer stuff. He's yes. gonna he's gonna slip aside and go hang out there. And he's sort of doing this with the dust and trying to figure like has something if like I do a line of this and yeah. I connect to her. <laughs> yeah. No, and just wow. waiting for a sign from Elsbeth, like Mistress, I have we failed you? And like, you know, he's gonna spend some time there and then he'll yeah. there'll be a moment where he's like, Oh shit, I gotta go do the computer stuff for Johnny. Because Johnny gets mad, and he's a little more scared of Johnny sometimes than he is. Johnny much. checks Tesla out for any more hypnol that uh, Evan may have slipped him while on the table. So rectally, he slipped me a. You just hear Elizabeth say in your in your ear. Just it just says it's like that'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't oh, there's a take on deliverance for that, you, dude. That's that, the okay. 
a candidate. Be, there, it's always Brett. No, yeah, that'll you don't do. Find pick. any rohypnol? You don't find any rohypnol, but you do see in a uh, half open jello pudding cup. Mm. <laughs> Talk to you again every time. But today's episode is brought to you by dumbass. I was just trying to take you to Tesla to just put my finger in your butt just for one, you know. <laughs> that's, that's pretty solid. Oh, my Jell pudding. Try Hang on, let me, let me, let me close one of my eyes. Say it again. <laughs> me and my wife Camille was just gonna put a finger in you. Broke the stream. It's fine. We're gonna move on. Uh, what, what, what was it? It was. Uh, got it. Did, did Twitch Twitch again? No, it's twitched. I twi- it's I, twitchy. Very I'm twitchy. like, I'm trying not to get canceled right now. That's what I'm trying. To yeah, yeah. I think we're getting there. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> so I can tell my dear story about guys canceled. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, so you guys are able to separate into teams, um, you know, um, Johnny and Dr. Mitchell looking at, uh, Tesla's arm. Um, so basically the, the tendons and musculature has been completely ripped off of, uh, the shoulder bones. Mm. I I uploaded a picture of his forearm into the discord. That's amazing. Ooh. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a discord. I'm in there. Oh, so, so Dr. Mitchell, give us your honest examination of the problem that we're seeing. What are, what are, what are we looking at? <clears throat> no. So, um, yeah, mo- pretty much broke most of the bones in his arm and, uh, and ripped several of the tendons of the rotator cuff, um, three of the four tendons, tendons of the rotator cuff, and um, damn near ripped the tendons in the, damn near severed the tendons in the elbow, but, um, <clears throat> but not quite. It's going to be immobilized for a long time. It's going to require surgery, and it's going to be a full year before you have full use of that arm again. Ooh. Uh, no more mastery. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That, that's and that's with that's like with super heavy physical therapy. <laughs> yeah, or sorry you, about or that. You just Tesla. drink some blood. Or, oh. <laughs> I, am I still conscious but during this and she's giving this prognosis? Or, or well, all I've done is take x-rays and, and exam so far. I haven't tried to set anything, so I haven't given yeah. you anything yet. Okay. Yeah. And, and I'm like, uh, fuck, I was afraid of that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what, 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 what are our options? It's like, I can't, it's like Dracula's not going to give us a year for this to heal. Like, can you just, it's like, can, can you just toss a cast on it and I can just deal with it? I mean, that's what I'm going to do now. We're going to have to realign a couple of the bones. I'm going to have to set it and and uh, splint it. I don't know if I can cast it in, in this facility here, but you're going to have to heavily splint it and pin. Um, oh, your collarbone is also obviously broken, um, which which accounts for why it's hanging at a weird angle from your body. Um, yeah. But there's no way you're going to tolerate this pain uh, awake. So I'm going to give you a little um, something, a little ketamine to to knock your ass happy out. <laughs> yeah, we're having more Twitch problems, Jason. I know. Heads out to heads out to Ogre for Hire who said, Jason, kick the router. Yep. Um, Every time Ogre for Hire joins, it breaks. So, yeah, it's true. But we love you. So you yeah, I know. So here's what's up. here's what's really super hard. So our ping race okay. Our our conversation on Zoom is fine. Uh, hmm. I can't fix this from here. Our speed is like approaching a gig so i'm watching it but i this thanks is a shit yeah thanks twitch maybe i don't know maybe it's me who knows maybe thanks it's twitch. maybe it's the music if it were you yeah. we wouldn't all be in sync so uh, it is good time to finish off this bottle of wine though. <laughs> all right so so I'm gonna um, give him oh, some. I think it fixed itself again. Ooh, we're back to live. Yeah, so there's, so I'm running. Ooh. For those who see this, I'm running. I'm running a speed test right now, and I'm running just. I'm, I'm running at 700 megabits per second right now on the up and, or on the down, and 40 odd on the up. So 
for those of you nerds who watch us, like I'm on top of this, but torches. Anyway, we're going to keep playing because we're recording. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's all right. Probably. Yeah. What if it's not? Fuck. And we will release it before Christmas. Tesla's arm heals. Before Christmas. M- much ending later. <laughs> before, before Tesla's arm. What year? Heals. I know. I'm not giving you that. Leave it. Okay. So, so that's pretty much what you find out um, with uh, with Johnny and, uh, and Tesla. Um, you do actually. Uh, I I could picture Johnny's probably is he is he paying a lot of attention to what's going on or is he kind of wandering? Well, Johnny is helping the doctor. I'm assuming that Tesla is squirming a little bit like a bitch on the table. So yeah, yeah she, put him, there she help, put him out. Hold him down. In the- you know, uh, you know, if necessary, you know, talk with him while the doctor does her examination, you know, gently probing the wound to remove all of the shrapnel with her little metal spike as it like, you know, spurts blood everywhere. Um I'm also giants considering like whether or not Tesla could rebuild his own arm using a some sort of uh, contraption that he builds himself. Like could he give himself a robotic magnetic grip that could like choke a vampire to death, for example. I mean, that that, that, that shit's straight up sci-fi shit. That's probably beyond, I mean. <laughs> I mean, he could do it, probably not before the end of this campaign, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but th- that's what Johnny's doing. And he's also making sure that, you know, Evan isn't, you know, somehow feeding off of Tesla while we're not looking. <laughs> okay. Can I, so, can I give you the good suck? Yeah, no good, no good suck, he said. He started off with Street Scarlet and he's moving away on to pure Tesla. That's right. Yeah. yeah, you have no idea how explosive that is. Tantalizing Tesla. Um, but yeah. So so yeah, that's what this figure you find. Um Lily does a full um kind of room to room search of any remaining areas. Um with the her key card that she had. Uh, there are some areas of like key card access and stuff like that. Um, and you are able to actually come across a room in the lower level um, that it first looked hidden, uh, but you were able to find it, Lily, as you were looking around, um, checking to see if anybody was uh, still hiding or anything there. What does it say? Okay. Yeah. And uh, you do come across this room that has uh, several glass cases, like I said, that are um, atmospherically controlled um, so as to not be oxidized or exposed to the general air. Um, you see a um, what looks like a rosary, a very old rosary um, that is on like a little, it's almost on like a necklace stand um inside the thing there are three tapestries um probably 10 foot by eight foot um that are hanging uh they're in separate cases but all, each case is next to each other uh to show that the three kind of make one tapestry as you put them together. It's very, very difficult with an initial look Mm -hmm. to make out exactly what they show in the tapestries. Um, You also find uh, a book um, that looks like it might be bound in flesh of some sort. I'll take that. Yeah, well, it's in, like I said, it's in, it's in one of those cases. Yeah, it's also in a case. Um, So that's, that's what you find uh, there. You do also find some things that are like in a, in a, uh, like one of those archaeological cabinets um, that has, you know, the, the, the pristine like paper and stuff for keeping it fresh and stuff. And the cabinet itself is sealed. Um, A paper, um, it looks like it has some Hebrew writing and stuff written on it. I don't I know. speak Hebrew. You speak Hebrew. Um, you make out that it says the Gollum. Oh, the mm. mm. <laughs> No, not Gollum. Gollum. 
like G O L E M, not G O L U M. Yeah, Johnny's gonna have to get dinner. Yeah. Um, so. Um, so those are the things that you find um, in that room. Like I said, it has key card access to uh, that you find with her her key card that she had. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, tell uh, Evan about that to see who's access the key card. Uh, thing, how many people who goes in more often than others, and stuff like that. So I think I think when Lily finds me, I'm there, um, sort of kneeling next to her remains and sort of sifting them in my fingers, and just thinking about how can I help them if she's this fragile, right? Like how the fuck do I help them? Thinking about Tesla, a, a it's kind of at the end of the hallway. I feel like I hear this kind of. I'm, I, I've, I've what, are got, you, what are you doing? Hmm. Please don't be losing it now. No, no, it's fine. I, I just. Do you ever? Do you ever wonder? Look, look at this, and I, I hold it up and just kind of drizzle it. That's all she was after all these years, after all she went through. <laughs> this lot reduced her to dust. Do you ever wonder if it's worth it? Do you? I just kind of look at her with this, like, seriously, like, where's my answer from Lily? Like, if it wasn't worth it, why are we doing it? I don't know. I ask myself that every fucking day. When I'm treated like a third-rate tech support analyst. Or a fucking lab rat. Look at this. This is us. I, mean, I thought you were at least the second bit tech guy. Kind of like trying to joke <laughs> unaffectedly. <laughs> Fair. If you, if you stop surfing the porn sites, I would not have to remove those viruses from your MacBook every time. But seriously. Hello Lily. Kitty's a hell of a thing, man. Lily, look at me. What is your... <laughs> look... Your sword would stand up better to the times than this fucking wretch did. No, it would. I mean, what, wouldn't it? It wouldn't. No. I'm no scientist, but after thousands of years, we're all going to be reduced to dust. Yeah, we found it's the not, answer after no, after tens of years. For fuck's sake, Lily, you're a child. I kind of take her gently by the arms and we have an opportunity ahead of us. We can meet it's, this challenge. It's not on. what we're we're doing. It's what impact we're having now. No, fuck all that. Yes, but but to what at what cost? Do you want look at what happened to Tesla? He's among the strongest of us, and look at him. He's he's broken. We could leverage. There's a path forward. There's a path forward. I I can't provide it, but I I think there's a way to find someone who can. And I think there's a glint in his eyes that maybe lets Lily know that there's maybe a little more provoking what he's saying, but not in a, in a malicious way. Oh, we can Thanks. look into that when the time comes. Trust the doctor. Right now. She knows. We can't, we can't continue to walk blindly in the face of these fucking dumpster fires of combat. Against Van, we we never. He could have died. One of us. It could have died, and he's not going to come back. We all know that. We all know the risk. Every turn is another chance we die. But we're not willing to accept him. For fuck's sake, Lily! I don't want to lose you. If I live as long as them, and I have to reflect on all that we've done here, and we fail, or Tesla, what? What if? I'm just saying. Please talk to the doctor. There's a path forward from here that doesn't involve defeat or death. All right, so there's this key card. Uh, <laughs> thingy. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I think that should be. Uh, and she just kind of sets in for a second. And she's like, yeah, back to business. Uh, there's this key card swipe thing I'm getting into. And like, I don't know nothing about this archaeological old bullshit. 
I'm putting down. Okay, dot dot dot. So there's this key card. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> right. Fuck. All right. What do you want to? What do you want to know? I I, I I leave the scene. Uh, that maybe breaks my fixation. I, I go to my computer and and uh, what are you trying to figure out? And what do I have to? I'm spend try, I, so I'm trying to figure out who is going into this room. It's obviously key card access, so they only want certain people in there. And uh, we might be able to find maybe there's somebody who isn't here, maybe a doctor or an archaeologist who is visiting as another path that will get us down as to gain more information. To There's these giant like scrolls and there's a rosary and a book that looks like it's bound in flesh. Uh, stuff like that. You know, we're, real weird shit in a cabinet I, I couldn't get into. I just didn't. <laughs> well, he's like, stuff like that, some shit bound in flesh. But okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just, see what just, I can just see. That stuff. Not another day. Byron, I will log into the blackbook.io. <laughs> I I'll, have to use yeah. the restroom. And I right, that's gonna, that's right probably going to be twitchy. No, it's fine. It's actually more stable right now than Twitch has been. That's true. No offense to the Twitch gods because they could. First time ever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, what do I need to spend there? To So what I'm looking for is shit. So is there an identity associated with a key card? Like such that we could be there like, is. okay, cool. So let's go there. Sounds like digital intrusion to me. It does. It does, right? So, uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't think it actually involves a spend. I think, I think you got it. Got it. Okay. Um, so uh, with a little bit of, uh, of effort, uh, you can um, not only get into the, so you can get into the, the system side of things where you're seeing like how many times has the room been accessed? You know, when was the last time that it was accessed? Things of that nature. It was accessed just shortly before uh, the uh, incursion by you guys. So you can imagine that she was probably coming up to the top level from from that that level when you guys encountered her. Um, it was probably within like literally like twelve minutes of the time that you guys came in the building. Um, so yeah, so you can narrow it down that she's the only one with uh, with a level of clearance high enough. Uh, you can narrow down that there were probably uh, a total number of uh, uh, 20 key cards that were active in different areas. Um, a lot of the key cards were only uh, able to access the top level. And that's it. So you would assume that those are the Mossad agents and guards and so forth. So none of those people had access to the lower levels of the um, the dig site or the historical site or whatever you want to call it. It's kind of all of those all at once. Um, so, yeah. So I think I, I provide this report, kind of run through it, um, trying to seem like I have my shit together thanks to Lily's heads up with Johnny. There's a PowerPoint probably. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so so I run run over this. So when you uh, go in there and you get into the the uh, it's not on the system side of things, but you realize that there are files associated with that particular room in general, uh, probably files that are associated with the contents. What kind of, of what kind of that, files? That would probably be helpful. Yeah, yeah. Is it like a like a list of various contents, like a catalog and whatnot. So it it kind of is, and it kind of isn't at the same time. Um, so, uh, one of the, um, items is a parchment. Uh, it, uh, has a lot of, uh, Hebrew words and stuff on it. Uh, I'm not sure if Evan speaks Hebrew, uh, but Lily could, uh, decipher them. Read it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think there's an understanding. So, yeah. uh, it is a, a document for the resurrection of the golem and it's notated as dangerous. <laughs> what the fuck's a golem? Asking Evan. Uh, oh, it's like a construct of, uh, and the context probably like a. So what am I looking for? Is like the traditional sort of flesh one or other ones? Or I, I give him the whole sort of the the cryptid descriptions of 
well, see, <laughs> let me tell you what a, what a golem is. I go through the not just so the uh, basically uh, it's a small piece of tattered parchment bearing a cabalistic ins- inscription of the name uh, G dash D Hashem around cool. the Hebrew word emeth or truth. Uh, the Shem is rumored to be one of taken from the mouth of the golem by the rabbi Judah Lo uh, Ben Bazael in Prague during the late 16th century. The Shem began circulating in the black market in 2003 after a National Museum of Iraq was looted. The parchment has not been authenticated beyond being genuine 16th century parchment and ink. So I'm going to suppose at this point that you rendezvous with Johnny or that Johnny and Tesla, uh, Tesla's probably sleeping, uh, yeah. but uh, the Johnny and Dr. Mitchell, or at least Johnny, would probably uh, go to see what is going on uh, with what you guys are looking at and so forth. Um, that's up to Dr. Mitchell whether she feels she would leave Tesla um, while he's sleeping and resting or if she would stay. That's entirely up to her. Um, is, the, uh, is the infirmary securable? <laughs> yeah, absolutely it is. Yeah, just like the alien infirmary. <laughs> yeah. But we see how that worked out. 100%. I'm going to come in through the drop ceiling and be like, hey, yeah. friend. Hey, what's up, friend? La, 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 la. So Johnny, with his art history and folklore and so forth that he knows, along with his uh, foreign languages and so forth, would be able to tell you the Jewish folklore speaks of the golem made of clay. Yeah. From the... Uh, Vlatava River that can be animated to protect the one who controls it. Some legends say that a golem will come to life only if an inscribed piece of parchment is placed within inside its mouth. The shattered body of the golem of Prague was known at one time to be stored in the attic of the old new synagogue. But in 1883, the attic was renovated and no remains were ever recovered. The Shem made it back to the black market twice since the museum looting in 2003. Rumors that demons from the shadows demand its destruction have made some conservative buyers weary while intriguing other more interesting prospectors. But with no golem to protect them from such demons, it's understandable why the previous collectors would wish to be rid of such a troublesome artifact. There is a notation that they believe the golem or is stored in a secret area beneath the National Museum in Iraq. Uh, And then you see a weird inscription written in a language that is very, very difficult to read. And within a few moments, Evan, you're actually able to read it uniquely. Why am I able to read? Do I put my glasses on, or is this? A... You're not really sure. Oh. It's almost like the ability to read it comes as you're looking at it. Hmm. I, I think there's a, a dizziness, and I read it <laughs> yeah. out loud. What What do I say out loud? Um. Basically, what it says is. A threat to D. A uh, what? A threat to what? D. 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 A big, D. D. A big old D. Big old, big old D. It's a big old it's like, D. <laughs> <laughs> must uh, and there's a notation that says it must be just recovered and eliminated. 
Oh shit! Yeah, but, uh, but but the fucking box is empty, Johnny. Johnny, I like have this. The, the, the box downstairs is empty. Was is that where the the the, the go- golem was stored? Did she? Has she got it? Is the uh, the box we're talking about? Is this in a level that we're at, or is it the level that nobody accessed that he knows about from the key cards? Uh, no. So well, the 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 actual area where these items are located is in the area that was located with the key card. Um, you come across Lily and Evan actually at a computer bank. Uh, he, Evan, Evan has his computer basically linked into the the databases of the the existing area. Evan, can you scroll back the the camera recordings of that room with the man-sized or should I say yeah, room so sized I've got my 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 uh, loop deck. <laughs> Link in the description below. Linked up. I just roll it back slowly until he says this. Yeah. yeah. So, are you talking about like what was in the sarcophagus? Yeah. So, in the amount of time that you have to spend, like I'm not exactly sure what amount of time you want to like actually put on that, but you believe that that was actually the sarcophagus that Lilith was buried in at some point. No shit. So wait, wait, wait. How far does it go back? Uh, That depends on how long you want to go. Well, I mean, tell me. I mean, can you go back? He would have to. He would actually have to stop and pull out another. Like he would have to go to another file. So this is stored beneath the museum, right? So Uh, so this is not. So so to be fair, let me let me make sure that I'm being completely clear on my description of the stuff. So the area that you are in is not beneath a museum. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, so but this is saying that there was like a, a secret room, maybe similar to what you're in now, that would have been below the National Museum in Iraq. So we're going to break into the National Museum in Iraq. Fucking A we are. No, it's a threat to him. There's not a long list of those. And Johnny, uh, so look, I, I pull up the schematic or detailed map, whatever. It's here-ish. How far away is it? Yeah. But, well, beneath it. Is it possible that, that these resting places, since they were used by Lilith, could also be used by Dracula? Are they of similar vampiric makeup in terms of do they share sleeping quarters? So uh, based off of what information you have researched over your time in the campaign and comparing the notes of the things that you thought were um, uh, things that would affect vampires based off of the Bram Stoker's Dracula and the information listed from Van Helsing in the book itself. You would believe that no, uh, Dracula would not be able to use the resting places of Lilith and stuff like that because they're from very different native soils. Mm. I think it wise though, just in case that that thing that we killed was an imposter, that we destroy these resting places, just to you make be, sure that you would be certain that that's that's not the case. That was something. That that was her. Oh, we're certain that's her. You're we're certain. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you were implying earlier, Byron, that we weren't no. certain that's her. Yeah, you may not have been at the particular time that I mentioned it, but now that you've gotten into looking at the documents and those natures that would come to that information would come to to light. Do we think that there might be anything of importance in terms of information stored in the, in her resting place? We've, we've searched the one here. Do we think there's anything to be found at the museum, the resting place? Well, so her resting place is not the museum. This is not a museum. This is simply an area underneath the archaeological dig and so forth. Right, I'm with yeah. you, but I thought there was another one at the museum. Am I mistaken? No, that's, those are separate things. So, Sorry. And it's not talking about her resting place. Her resting place is where you are. So what is at the museum again? Sorry. The museum is the supposed area where the actual body of the golem was stored. Oh. Which, along with along with this piece of paper that you got, but they were separated during the raid. May I see that piece of paper? Of course. Yeah, you you've already looked at it. I I look at it. So I know that legend has that the 
true name of God is written on the paper, and it is what animates the lifeless husk of the golem. It's interesting that we have this here. I cannot think that it would do us any good. Does that actually say Steve Buscemi? (laughs) It does. does. George Burns. It says George Burns. (laughs) But it is supposedly true that um, whoever enlivens the golem has power over it. And it is said that the power of the golem is limitless. In fact, as legend has it, this is why it had to be um, deactivated, that when invaders came, it became so powerful, calling upon the power of God that it grew to the size of a mountain and would have crushed innocent bystanders it was meant to protect. They say this is the danger of the golem, that its power is limitless. But of course, these are only legends. I'm um, not sure that do us much good. Are we actually prepared to say those two things at the same time? These are only legends. I mean... Us, a bunch of vampire hunters. <laughs> well, I mean, of course, vampires are real, but... I mean, yeah, of course. Obviously. I, mean, I would hope that we have determined that. Do you really think a, a, a golem would be real? I'll, I'll look at the paper. I'll give it a little examination. Is there anything... Does the paper look very old? Does it look like it's made of something? Oh, yeah. So so the paper itself, like, the, you're not reading the actual paper. You're reading, like, the photographs of it and stuff like that. The paper itself is stored within one of those cases in the other room. So you're in a computer bank looking at the documentation of this display, not physically looking at the display. Well, perhaps we should take the actual papers before we go. I mean, if nothing else is great leverage for the society, they would certainly be interested in this. If we were a tribute for them, they would owe us. I'm sure of it. What uh, What kind of, uh, when we look at the cameras, what kind of security is around the containers? Is it, or is so it just the, like, the camera itself does not, there is no cameras in that room. There's no our, security. Our Twitch is screwed now again. It's, yep, yeah, it's doing the thing. Well, uh, I don't know, it's showing me stuff then. Yeah, it's uh, reconnecting. Oh. It's trying. It's starting. Oh, it's We're like good. it's like skipping. It's like repeating. It's like Max Headroom. Go to, go to, it's like uh, it's like repeating. Yeah, there's something super weird going on there. But so yeah, I, it's twitching. <laughs> it's re yeah, it's reconnected now. And again, uh, no no Damn. no issues ping wise, no issues zoom wise. So fucking this. Will Sorry be a, guys, dude, thanks this, a lot for whoever's sticking in here. This will be today. a fun edit. I can't wait to be like hey, yeah, it's this. exciting. Yeah, you get like twelve edit points. It's great. Yeah, fuck it. Yep. Let's do it. All right, so I, so I yeah, we should we well, should look at the security in the room, and I think we should retrieve that paper. We should not leave it here. Sure, there's sure. Papers, would, uh, there's all uh, kinds of stuff. But. I'm assuming that you probably will be retrieving all of the artifacts that I'm talking to you about in some way. Yes. Finding a way to transport them and so forth from here. Yeah. Um, you do also find the documentation about the rosary. Uh, the rosary is listed as uh, Rosary of Harker. Harker? Harker. Harker. H-A-R-K-E-R. Uh, Harker. Jonathan it's, Harker. Yeah, Jonathan Harker. A worn brass and olive wood rosary with an attached sacred heart and crucifix constructed with sturdy chains and large textured beads. Obviously well used. The details of the crucifix and heart are worn almost smooth to the touch from rubbing. It is displayed in a fine mahogany felt lined box and the untutored eye appears entirely generic and undeserving of such a display. However, the object was obviously made with great care and appears to have never needed repair despite all of its long use that has suffered. Um, Your art history uh, would identify it as a Roman Orthodox rosary and crucifix based on certain details of uh, nearly Ephist uh, imagery. The history of the item, as notated in the documents or digital files, I should say, uh, 
Jonathan Harker noted in his original journal that the old woman who ran the hotel he stayed in in Bistretz gave him the crucifix from around her neck when she learned that he was bound for Castle Dracula. The touch of it was enough to protect Harker from at least one of Dracula's violent outbreaks during his stay in the castle. After Harker's convalescence and return to England, it isn't mentioned again. The rosary resurfaced in a collection of Eastern Orthodox religious artifacts kept in a wealthy Budapest socialite, kept by a wealthy Budapest socialite, along with a handwritten note from Sister Agatha, noting that it had been left behind by a patient with brain fever, but was of such craftsmanship, she felt compelled to conceal it, lest it be stolen by another patient. So again, another item that would appear based off of your information from now this digital file, and in addition to the information located within the a copy of Brent, the Harker files or whatever the the Dracula dossier uh, that you guys originally received in the very beginning, uh, it would notate that this is yet another item that at least protected Harker during his initial visit. It could be useful. It's powerful enough to fend off uh, Dracula even once. Of course, that could be part of the myth. That Dracula would let that remain in the novel makes it questionable. Well, the novel was clearly written without his capability or knowledge, which okay. is why he attempted to get it from you in the very beginning. Oh, oh okay. The un yeah. In the very beginning, you remember you ran into him or what you thought was him in the in the church when Harker gave you the document. Okay. Is it not, Johnny, all about timing? So if we've got if we've got a hall pass, right? That will protect us going in. Harker was not going in on an attack necessarily, was he? If no, he was going to sell real estate. He was going on recruitment. Were we to bring full offensive with a level of defense that was reliable Tesla could kill him it even spares us a second we should take it well I think we should take it I think perhaps Tesla should examine it perhaps he can figure out his properties and either exaggerate them in another device or replicate them it may be there's something specifically about this cross that can be analyzed by science or it simply could be you know, magic. Right. right. The third major item that you come across is the book. The book covered in what you would think is human flesh. Confirmed by the documentation located in the database. Uh, known as Le Dragon Noir. Crumbling folio, approximately... 33 centimeters by 27 centimeters, bound in dark, wrinkled human skin with a long grayish stain and a narrow band around the middle. Uh, anybody have chemistry? Let me ask the blackbook.io. Probably not. Also. Probably Tesla. Twitch is still sleeping. I have chemistry. Okay. Twitch is Dr. Still Dr. Mitchell. You would be able to determine that it, the residue is from badly tarnished silver, perhaps a chain that was once used to keep it closed. It is 211 parchment pages, giving off unscented, unsettling, varied odors. One handler might smell sulfur, another smells nothing but grave rot. The title proclaims to be Le Dragon Noir, with the image of a dragon choking itself with its tail while chewing on a medieval order of the dragon. As history or occult studies recalls, 
The manuscript is a mixture of French and Latin with spells and imprecations in Greek and Hebrew, unsavvy and startling illustrations. Sorcerous pentacles are not illuminated or printed woodcuts, but sketched in faded inks and more dubious pigments. The documentation that you see within uh, would show that the Dragon Noir is reported, reported to be the more dangerous and powerful companion to Le Dragon Rouge, the Red Dragon, both come from the Solomonic Grimoire tradition of the late Middle Ages and contain the names and rituals by which Solomon and hence later magicians could control demons. The Dragon Noir specifically deals with the Force Infernals, which could be construed as forces within the Earth, especially volcanic forces. Unlike the Dragon Rouge, Widely, widely printed in France after about 1800, Le Dragon Noir remained obscure, passed down only in hand-copied manuscripts. Two purported English translations of Le Dragon Noir have been published by small occult presses in the last 20 years. Quite expensive on the occultist market. Uh, however, it is, uh, it is not really common uh, but this is very old and true grimoire of its kind. Um, in the notations, Lilith, or who you would believe is Lilith, is taking control of the narrative uh, by typing in the documents and descriptions of things. Uh, that is, was the actual grimoire studied by Dracula himself at the Sholomots. A true copy of it contains, among other things, the secrets and the origin of creation of vampires and Linnea Dracula. Provides no less than two absolute ways to destroy a vampire. Uh, where, where's, well, can, we, can we please yeah. get to the part where there's aliens? So, however, <laughs> just a heads up. Right. Is it will it will take at least one month of reading and and study to determine that information yeah, but from what, its pages. Wasn't wasn't Johnny a speed reader um, or something? And... <laughs> Still gonna take a month. He's a speed reading champion. One's <laughs> award. What sounds like we need to. Uh, Find a hideout and bunker down for a short while. You're one of Sardinia should be safe, right? Definitely. Sure. <clears throat> the final item of the items located within the room is the three tapestries. Those tapestries known as the Tepes tapestries. Three fine wool tapestries of great age, fully four meters in length and one to two meters wide, obviously meant to hang as a triptych. The imagery depicted in the weaving is unclear at best. While the colors are rich in saturated reds, browns, and golds, including what on close inspection can be clearly golden thread in places mixed with what is believed to be human blood. I am um, immediately asked, uh, Evan, Evan, with your special um, sight, would you mind examining the triptych to see if you can see something that our eyes do not? Uh, funny enough, because he actually can. Um, an overall effect is one of abstraction. Figure leads a group towards what could be a castle or a mountain or two large beasts facing each other, uh, one figure holding a sword, or perhaps it's caught in a beam of light. The group could be soldiers bearing arms or craftspeople laden with tools, or even demons or imps sporting extra limbs. Or is it a mob chasing someone into a chasm? Anything more than the most cursory study takes a significant 
investment of time and analysis to reveal insights and meaning within the tapestries. The documents notated in the discovery and study of these items, these tapestries are said to be from Dracula's castle itself. It has been pointed that they were made to the specifications of Vlad III, perhaps by a hired or imprisoned Turkish craftsman or amateur effort by Valachian subjects. After World War II, the three hangings were discovered in a German cache of looted objects and treasures, abandoned once the axis fell, recovered by Gellin Org. As you might remember, the Nazi on a Yahtzee. Mm. Yes. Recovered and restored, certain details indicate to historians oh, shit we recovered there. their connection to the historical Vlad Tepes himself, or perhaps his father, Vlad II. Primarily a benediction for the House of Draculesti, picked out in gold thread on each tapestry, though strangely, it's written in Turkish. They date from the mid to 1400s and are clearly fine French wool of the period, but iconography is muddled and difficult to identify as being a particular artistic tradition of obvious historical, historical importance, but questionable aesthetic, the worth the Tepes tapestries have been become favorites of occult scholars who seek some connection of the imagery and the stories of Dracula himself. Well, I would live if be hoarding these informational relics all in this place and doing research. You do find some side notations also that note that not only are these legitimately from Dracula's castle, they were made by his order to capture what he would consider a piece of his soul. The power to see movements afar or the ability to reveal to the viewer a solution to a puzzle you could not solve. Contemplation of a single tapestry will refresh all academic ability of your choice. Any two tapestries reviewed together can refresh all academic or technical abilities. And when viewed all together, they also provide the viewer with insight into not only Dracula and his conspiracy, but the true location of his castle in the mountains. Uh, and then your head explodes. Oof, yeah. <laughs> so we've got all that stuff, right? We kept it. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I burned it all. No, I'm just I burned it all. Oops. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. You weren't uh... supposed to keep that. No, we just have to hang on to it long enough right. to study it. I mean, we got to take some downtime for a uh, fastest chicken wing to set. Yeah, we have to get him to surgery. And Which all, all this, this uh, people coming and going and asking Evan stuff. So he's not much. He's he's near the infirmary. I, I don't know if it's secured. And Doctor Mitchell's like, hey, don't don't go eat him. But he's nearby and just watching, and very convicted in making sure that he his recovery is steady. It's almost to the point where he's obsessive about it, invisibly so. He just realized Evan's deep. He's realized, I'm sorry? Like, if he wakes up, I'm staring through the window at him. I'm like, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. Hey. Good job. And it's been minutes. Good job waking up. Have delicious. some insure. It's delicious. Yeah. Is that Axe Body Spray? You smell fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so you do, you do yeah. find some notations that um, from the documents that she had on her person. Okay, when you remember she was carrying that like 
um, yeah. Cl- yeah. clipboard style thing. Yeah, I blow the dust off it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. And for me, I'm like, it's not dusty. And I was like, oh, okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. I I, I, we, we take a vial so, of her. Um, there is obviously uh, there is a reference to a gentleman named Gerard Hoover. Fucking idiot. Dog. Oh, I'm sorry. Not Gerard Hoover. Gerard Horum. H-O-O-R-U-M. Okay. If I could only read my writing, it'd be awesome. (laughs) So, yeah. So that is, uh, and it looks like that perhaps what was about to transpire was her team was about to locate this individual. Ah, so he's a subject matter expert. Is that right? It does not say. So we don't know why. You don't know why she was looking for him. You just know that it, what it appeared to be is that her team was literally about to leave the compound to begin investigating and track down this individual. What poor timing for her. All right. Well, we'll what's the, if you want me to write the name again, um, I have some uh, Gerard G E E R E D. Ah, hold on one second. Ooh. Sorry. Oh, no, you're not. Uh, Gerard. Yeah. And the last name? There you go. I put it in chat. Oh, thank you. Uh, Gerard Horro. It sounds Dutch. It's a little Dutch sounding. It is. It is Dutch. Expreckum beach Nederlander. All right. Well, then. His skin is out of file. We should. We should definitely <laughs> um, look this person up discreetly. Although clearly they already know. Oh, perhaps we should move quickly. If Lilith knew of him, is would not uh, Dracula also know? You're not sure. Okay. Would Dracula know that she had these items that could be useful against him? Uh, this is a question. Do we, is there any indication? I mean, we know that they're telepathically linked. No? We know they're linked. We don't know, know the length that they're linked. Yeah, you don't know. You know the length. So you would determine that based off the fact that Bathory is linked with Evan. After a certain, I don't know that you. I don't know that you know exactly that they're linked. After a certain number of years, children learn how to fool their parents when they sneak out of the house. Oh, wow! After thousands of years, and I have to assume that this bitch learned how to hide things from that great big D that she served. Sorry. Oh, stop it. Jason's internet just the... took oh. a complete shit. Hey, yeah. it's back. Now, it's, stream. Now, Wake now, up, it's, Jason. now it's cascading. You're sleeping. Well, yes. Mendo, can we take a look at You're sleeping, Evan. Break? Wake up. Absolutely. Yeah. So I know we started late. Uh, what are we looking at time wise? I'm good. No, I'm good. Everybody, everybody good? Nothing I'm good. Uh, do we have a do we have a dead stop? Yeah, uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. <laughs> All right. Ish. All right, cool. So let's Ish. take five-minute bio break then, and we'll come back. It's 5 till 11, and we'll play for a little while until you guys are ready to yeah. stop. Because it's only 11. And oh, time get we're back. Sorry, guys. Time I get off of here. All right, we're back. Heard, heard back. We're back. Tesla. Oh, yeah, she's back. Back again. We're she's back. Guess who's back? Tell a friend. Dude, all back. you guys subscribing on Prime, back. though, seriously, I'm seeing the list now. I'm like catching up. Hey, by the way, the dog did not shit on the floor this last hour. That's Woo! cool. <laughs> no. It grew up so fast. Dude, yeah, in. Yeah, that means a lot with this one. This is the most solid 60 minutes of stream we've got today. This is when we're all the way by over here. Yeah, si- <laughs> you mean six six minutes. Yeah, Fucking you're not hell. lying there. Yeah. <laughs> all 
All right. So, I mean, I guess I should upgrade to like some kind of, I don't even know, dude. Like there's not much beyond this offering. I have a, I'm not really. <laughs> ah. It is what it is, dude. Can only do so much. I'm calling. I got, new, I got a new game though, Jason. What'd you get? Bleeds in the dark. Dude. Oh, dude, I got that. I have that. We're dude, we about this. We have to play that on screen. We have Fine. to play that on screen. We ha- it is one shot. so fucking Okay, okay. Cool. okay. But but I'm gonna run a one shot because no, actually, you know what? I'm gonna delegate. Oh, I will I'm fed it. I will FedEx the book. I'm gonna re- I'm gonna delegate a one shot. <laughs> fucking G.I. Joe. <laughs> This was this. This is like a hey guys, check this out. What we and I'm like, I get the book. And I'm like, all right, this is my childhood, and you ruined it. <laughs> so, Tyler, will you please run a one shot of GI Joe? You know, I don't know anything that. about GI Joe. You don't have to. You're way just too ha- young. Yeah, you just have to go and Cobra, Cobra, you, and whatever. Like, you want to ruin your childhood? I have to work some up. I do. I like. I would love for you to ruin my childhood. It's really amazing. I, I already I already tried. All right, so Ogre for Hire hasn't gotten into online gaming yet, but what? Yeah, but it this is gonna happen. We're gonna we're gonna have a one shot. Do a one shot with us of Lankmar Savage Worlds because you're a Savage Worlds because you could help me relearn Savage Worlds because I forget it every fucking six weeks. And Thorg is gonna come in. And you Byron. can't even get him for Vile Dawn. Why would we get him for that? We quit, dude, quit sh- dick teasing that boy. <laughs> quit dick teasing him. <laughs> He's there. You just don't know it yet because you're. Yeah. Are you ready uh-huh. to play this fight? Mm-hmm. Well, wait, Tesla. No, we're waiting on fucking Brent. Is like, he, all right, I'm going to go back to the other view. Is he pooping? Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. All right. It's a bio Oops, break. I mean, if he's, he's peeing, he's pooping, <laughs> maybe he's doing both. It's a fucking one minute of, of the night that we're having stable internet. It's like, yay, pooping. Ha, right. ha, ha. No, I just, I just had to grab. I, I, I uh, we don't know. Home. We don't need to know. <laughs> you had to grab it. Well, I, I, I just left my soda in the bathroom. That's all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I just had to go get Did it. You, sure. you had to fill, fill her up. Yeah. It's <laughs> amazing. All right. Well, yeah. so. Dude, I will send you link. Mo- okay, Ogre, listen. If you will jump online, it's a Zoom meeting. Which fucking Zoom. But, you know, I will send you a link, Mark. I no, will. we're going to only keep teasing you, Thor. <laughs> only more tease. I prefer to call it ding dong, if I'm being honest. <laughs> You're ding dong ditching. You're ding dong yes, tease? Want to. Fine, Ogre. Like, if you will, whatever, dude. We'll run anything. I don't care. Uh, and the dog will not shit on the floor during our session, right? No promises. Yeah, I don't know. All right. But I will. So we're back. We are back from the PP break. God damn it. <laughs> solid, <laughs> solid ping. Everything's delicious. Everything's what? It's great. Beautiful. It's it's fantastic connectivity right now, except my microphone cool. shaking the bed. Wonderful. It's probably lightning. I don't care. I'm going to get drunk. <laughs> oh, oh my, twice. Heard. Damn. There's like no place over there. No. Are you about to door dash some weird shit? What are you doing? Dude, I'm he's, trying. I'm he's trying definitely to do looking for food. I got like some pizza downstairs I might eat. All right. Dude, I got some fish that is like worse than like if you have mom might have my mom might have had an actual fish. like burnt William Shatner mask from like it's <laughs> 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 fucking bad, dude. It's Michelle, bad stuff. Come on. Hey, bad stuff right now. So fun bad. fact, I, I um, and if James is watching, like seriously, it's a true story. Um, we had to cancel Vile Dawn. I, I had to cancel Vile Dawn because home drama got weird. I'm not going to share, but it was fucking stupid. So anyway, I was doing that. Turns out James gave himself uh, food poisoning uh, with like a breakfast burrito. And he's like, right about the time that we would have been streaming, he would have been spraying shit everywhere. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, did, so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I have what? to know. How did he give himself food poisoning? I don't know, dude. Like he ate the thing that was bad. I mean, how do you? How else would you? He it, he said, I, I heated what was the breakfast. It in said breakfast burrito. I want the fucking details, Jason. Poison. I don't know. So like, it, I, can, I can break this shit down, man. I'm sponsored dude, by the National so Restaurant he, Association of Food Safety. He, I can tell you, I'm so sick. Quote was. <laughs> Quote was. The bad he, tortilla. He heated the breakfast burrito. 
He went to eat it, and it was a little cold and weird, but he's like, I'm going to power through it because he had, like, shit to do that day. You know, gaming. <laughs> I don't know, gaming. He It was <laughs> he made it or it was from somewhere? He did. He heated it, but, well, I mean, he didn't. So look. he warmed it up un safely right, was it like a and frozen like, breakfast burrito from like what it was is a, <laughs> it no, no, no. Where did he get it from all right here here's what it was it was an epic it was an epic fucking item with powers against the rectum because yeah. he said he said this to me well not in these words because he's a very <laughs> soft spoken basically what he got to was i would have been spraying shit all over the place during our session so not my yeah. fault. Not my fault. So, so he gave himself probably salmonella poison. Well, he did say a lot of shit to get done. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did do a lot of that. It was probably from the eggs. Yeah, salmonella. Didn't yeah. heat it to one sixty five. Anyway, we'll bad be idea. Back. Never eat a breakfast burrito that hasn't been heated to one sixty five. So yeah. That's our Sal, Sal, fucking food over here. I'll tell you that's, all about it. That's that's the the good old Italian doctor, salmonella. Yeah. Well, he, he what he did is he he upset the balance of the pH and his BH based on what I and it was it's bad. Can so. he make one of those for Dracula? It was quite it was quite non viscous. I don't even know what yeah. that looks like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um so have you ever poured sand into chocolate milk? <laughs> No, oh, that, that that kinetic sand the the stuff that doesn't get wet. Aquarium <laughs> gravel and and like yogurt. <laughs> now, I are it. you horrified yet? I got jokes. <laughs> and right. then and then squeeze it into your toilet like in one of those things that like you put like icing a on a cake. Like, like you put toothpaste. icing on a cake. It's just like. And dude, this yeah. is the span of time that Twitch is like. No, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. Stream. You're fine. Stream right. away. So, <laughs> which clearly knows what's important here. If, if so you, you guys have got some information from some fabulous items, uh, you can, with some very easily psychology <laughs> and uh, things, figure out that Lilith was storing items that could potentially be used against the Big D. Well, thank whether you. Whether that was thank you, Captain Obvious. Whether that was at his behest <laughs> or his behest. or or for her own good. You would also know that if they are effective on the D, that they could be effective against her, being that she is Linnea Dracula. Mm-hmm. So. What a man! That's like, did you just fucking shit on my floor? That's the, <laughs> oh, he's moving the, again. That's hey. the did. Did you just shit on my floor? <laughs> and we're back to unsteady oh, stream. Hell yeah! Because we're talking that. about actually gaming shit now instead of. <laughs> yeah. Like, instead of how did James poison himself? <laughs> I thought Evan just froze, realizing we were going to be testing all these right. things on him. Yeah. Um, so just to <laughs> clarify, this is assuming we're, we're already out. We found a safe house and we're cool, right? So or, this is uh, assuming that at least right now, it's not assuming that you are out of the compound. It's assuming okay. that you have, you've determined that you don't feel there are any threats coming to the compound. Um, you do are, are, are <coughs> able to maintain, you do know from the guardhouse that there was a minor radar um, facility that overlooked the compound and stuff like that. But uh, obviously that can be infiltrated by someone of your skill level. So, uh, unless someone of your skill level is coming for you, you're probably safe. I'll let you determine whether you feel. I suspect someone's coming for us. We should collect these items and move on to them. So how are you going to transport these items? Because they... <clears throat> well, like they obviously, thing, but... They obviously are stored in some very um you know uh, atmospheric containment well describe that i mean is it like they're in like iron lungs or something i mean 
Kind of, kind of in a way. Uh, so they're in kind of displays that have been treated in such a manner to store these items. So these items were transported here at some point in time. You're not sure when. Um, I, I'm, I'm, you mean we haven't brought the means to hermetically no. seal some large items with us? Uh, no. You have that. Hold on. Hold on. My MOS says differently. I was going to say. So I your MOS can get you theory. for one. One. So there is a one, two, three, four, five, six. There are at least six items. So you very could spend large. your MOS. <laughs> no, that's one item. That's not six. Oh, shit. We could just stay here for a month. Tesla needs surgery. I can't do that. Ah, yeah, you're right. Forgot True. about that. Forgot about the chicken wing. <laughs> you could you could take Tesla to the World Health Organization. Ooh. You do have you do still have access to that surgery room and stuff like that, a research facility. Could we get a Huey or something that could like carry the containment equipment as well as everything else? See, the person that could fly it has one arm right now. So it might be problematic. Turns out, though, that is a helicopter only requires one arm and two feet. Right? Well, I don't know that. I don't know how to fly a helicopter. I mean, I just yeah. know this from watching. Tesla's going to be under the influence of some really heavy narcotics. And, well, that any different and, than other Wednesday? and his steering arm is the one that's fucked up. <laughs> He's not ambidextrous. So. <laughs> Is by Dexter. So if you'd like to take the chances of everybody getting on a helicopter and uh, never Tesla, getting off Tesla heavy, heavily medicated uh, steering you with his uh, opposite his offhand arm, uh, you know, I think we could probably recreate the Kobe crash. At oh, least. <laughs> at a minimum. I'd say you guys got about a three point chance. <laughs> so, is there someone we can contact? Can we um, use some networking or something to? Sure. Look at all those fabulous points that you guys have at networking. Uh, yeah, no, seriously. Uh, how do many have points? A how many points would you like to spend? Probably. And tell me all about this person. That is now permanently part of your network. I don't like you, Byron. I know. We haven't we haven't seen these rules for a while. Just ever since you guys had like a thing in like Morocco in the very beginning. Yeah, hasn't, we haven't used a lot of networks. We have though. not used a lot of networks. Well, well, no, well, well, Johnny probably would be one person that would use a lot of network character-wise, but um, he, Johnny has a lot of background reasons as to why he didn't do that. So yeah. I let I let Dan kind of bend the rules to for his backstory. I mean, if it's the point where, <clears throat> you know, you pull all the stops, which it may be, Johnny could... Ooh. Are you oh, are oh, you talking yeah, about you are challenging right now? Busting them out? Could be, could be two, two years of the making. Said. You don't even know which one of them isn't here, Johnny, because you never went into the mortuary oh, at, shit, yeah. in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> details, details. Out. Da, da, da. So I mean, this is the part where I would suggest that it's probably more entertaining for us just to say it's done than it is to go through all the details. You were asking that earlier, Byron. Um, if you want, I can spend trade graph points, but I mean, I think what we want to do is get, how, we're not near the ocean. We want to get either a land vehicle or a Huey or something large that we can get all yeah. this stuff in, powered up, and moved out. <clears throat> If you want me to spend points, if you want me to describe, I could. No, no. That, that, I mean, if you want to describe, I think that's cool. But I don't think there's a necessity to worry about the point side. But I think the description side of things would uh, would merit this this stream. I think people would like to hear uh, your one Johnny's wonderful ideas and descriptions of uh, his contacts that he's going to uh, use. To uh, especially since we never heard any of them in, t in two years of gameplay, really. Okay. 
So we have uh, not been. Oh gosh, I do yeah. know an know we have. former agency. Yeah, Thomas almost Cuff. on episode four. <laughs> almost on episode four. <laughs> I do know an this individual. Is 20, Thomas, like twenty. You want me to give this to spiel or not? You know, Thomas. Yeah, Cuff, you're he, good. He, he can get together the equipment that we need. He's also an experienced pilot. Um, if one of you can arrange a new place for us to hold up while we examine these artifacts, that would be helpful. But I can contact Thomas, assuming that he hasn't been flayed alive or died of colon cancer Johnny, in the evening time. I'm sure he could do help to us. Johnny, what worries me is um, <clears throat> you haven't pointed out any of Thomas's awkward flaws and that must mean it's really bad what's the problem with thomas is he got like is he, is he actually in a jaw supported by life support or something like what's wrong with thomas no 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 one man's heroin addiction is another man's gift i mean it doesn't really it's not really a problem wait he's got hair i mean he what <laughs> You can quit anytime you want. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's true. You I could. Can. You could also, rather than burning your own contacts, you do know that your buddy, your buddy Gellin Org, probably has some contacts. You mean Mr. Microwave? Mr. <laughs> Microwave. <laughs> he might be willing to help you guys out. You don't know. Mm. You might be able to he roll, was fascinated by us for some weird you reason. You might be able to roll four or five sixes in your Yahtzee. <laughs> you know, heroin addiction is only a problem if you can't get it. I mean, it, it does guarantee that. Yes, you, know you can. <laughs> it, does, it, it also guarantees you know exactly what your mood will be this evening, tomorrow, next week. Next <laughs> sure, these are facts. I mean, if you want someone who's steady, you want someone who knows how to control their situation bowels right. understood yeah <clears throat> i mean evan you know you're familiar with this concept i am right. so we'll assume that johnny dials up old thomas and, uh, uh if you could picture i don't know if anybody's on his seen, rotary cell phone uh season four of stranger things the little russian guy with the helicopter is like ah oh, yeah i am doing <laughs> well, he's African American, but okay. Okay, whatever. You know, right. it's like, how are you doing, man? I can fly you anywhere, anytime. United Way is here for you. You're the only Black Russian I know. I mean, hey, it's a delicious drink. Yes, yeah, normally you drink White Russian. Today, long drink of Dark Russian. Mm. Basically, Bard's like, whoever you get, the German or someone else, is gonna have a funny accent. Okay, that's, that's, right. just, that's just required, dude. I'm this just is it out there. It's it's literally he's teasing us because every time he does that accent, I'm like, is it rising? No, it's not. It's not it's <laughs> I, that's what I was uh, gonna say. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Don't worry, I've toyed with bringing him back. I've toyed with it. I'm toyed with it, but I'm like, nah, man. He'll be fine. Uh, he's he's gonna... dead. He's dead. He's dead. He, 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 he might be dead, but his style never is. His style yeah. never is. His, me his memory lives on through our nightmares. Yeah. Every time <laughs> you scroll through that Banana Republic account, <laughs> I'll never forget his neon green fishnets and yellow type banana <laughs> with, with the hair oh, underneath. Yeah. Banana oh, yellow. Yeah. So <laughs> that hair was not underneath. That hair was interwoven. Yeah. He'd been wearing those fishnets for years. That shit was like an open macrame mm. of hotness. Of hotness. <laughs> it was so sweaty. <laughs> it was full <laughs> cramay. Hey, the, the talk that you guys are doing, or my, my bandwidth just went like this. Like maybe it's. <laughs> You know, just whew. based on depravity. Of yeah, it's, 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 you know, it's every time we got off, it, the bandwidth was perfect. So it's like uh, every time uh, I get off my bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But for very brief periods. That's I mean, what she said. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely right. not. Right. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So let's say that you guys are able to secure your ride through Thomas and are able to uh, gather the necessary um, things to transport these items through maybe burning another contact network, whatever the case may be. Perhaps someone that is located at a uh, an, uh, 
antiquities uh, establishment or perhaps even like the curator of a museum or whatever the case may be that's in your network list. You guys are able to transport these items along with yourselves to pretty much wherever you want. Um, is there a particular place in the world that you wish to target? You do know the two places that have come up that could be possibilities are the National Museum in Iraq and also what you believe would be somewhere in the Carpathian Mountains. Well, you know, Qatar has good friends in the mountains of Afghanistan. Uh, so, but Johnny, I would ask, um, while you're on the phone with your contact at the museum, um, do they have a network? Do they have an extended network into the Museum of Iraq? Because we have something to acquire there. If we, setting aside all folklore, if, if, if this is real, if this is a weapon that we could use against the D, what, the, why, the, why, 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 why aren't we there already? We are we call him the D. the D. No, well, we should say the big, the big D, the big throbbing, mean, biting D. Vascular D. Two Venus. Yeah. Venus. Blood drinking D. <laughs> the point, Dr. Mitchell, I'm sorry, but the pulsating. Yeah. Sh sh should we not be. This constitutes a hostile work environment. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's true. Where's, okay. where's HR? When you need them. <laughs> Where's that, that, means, that means you can get Take unemployment. Job. You can get yes. unemployment. Well, no, no. But, 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 but realistically, shouldn't should we not be removing? She was interested, which I, I would I, I would say lends credence to it. Should we not be going after that just to remove it from the playing field? Or if it, it turns out to be valid, then let, let it fight them. Him. We do know that she was more interested in Gerard uh, Hurman. Then she was the object. Well, perhaps because we should knew... look into both. Right. And yeah. if, if nothing else, Johnny, you've got a nice new statue to put out there by the barbecue. True. Mm -hmm. He'd be like, did you know that that's the golem? You'd be like, Johnny would be like, oh, the golem and the blah, 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 and the history things. <laughs> and, and we'd all be like, oh, God. And all those people would just be like, oh, yes. We, we need the golem. Golem. Let's go. I would like to focus on getting Tesla treatment. Well, we can do all of the above. I mean, so are you guys? No going, are you guys? Are you guys going to your little hookup? Uh, you guys can contact your little hookup over in uh, in England. Well, I mean, if we, you said we're, we're Lily Confidence. You said the Carpathian Mountains, and the other place was. The National Museum in Iraq, which is in Baghdad. You said that's where the, the hideout is, or just the item? No, that's where the supposed item was. I mean, no, I meant the hideout there. Where did you say the hideout locations were? I thought you did. I did not. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, in that case... Um, Dracula's castle is somewhere in the Carpathian Mountains. You would know where, but it's going to take you about a month to find out. Um, would it be possible for a cutter to serve us a safe house, um, maybe somewhere in Iraq, and then we can no. uh, get close access to the museum? Yeah. Given the uh, level of chaos going on in the country and the fact that he's a dinosaur, uh, he's not a jelly popper, he's a cotton shooter who knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. So he's going to, he probably has contacts like all over there. he's so. not a jolly popper he's a cotton shooter like yeah. i've never been more intrigued yet completely what clueless. does that mean yeah <laughs> no like, you know, I'm, that saying, I'm saying he's a junker okay that's uh, what oh do you not speak oh jeez. no oh. like that was really amazing that was amazing so beautiful that was, that was beautiful <laughs> like i, I feel so finger. intrigued Yes, Skag, Snow. Do you not know this? Junk, Smack, Dope, China White, Brown Horse. Do you not know these words? What's wrong with you people? You know anyway. what I like to call it, Johnny? I, I pat him on it, like to call him. I like to call it breakfast. <laughs> this, this, Evan, is why we are, we are souls in common. Now, we'll, we'll get to the hideout in, in Iraq. We'll, Cutter will set us up with a place. We'll take care of Tesla. And then we'll make arrangements to visit the museum, extract what we need to, while we plan our route to find this gentleman, who apparently is more important than these physical artifacts. If, if that will work for everyone, 
I'm sure Cutter can take care of that. As long as I give him like, you know, about five pounds of beast. I, I do have I do have a question, and this is this is for Tesla because I love it. But um, Tesla, why why does Johnny call him Cutter? Why did uh, well, why, why why does he call him Cutter? Yeah, but I wonder why why is his nickname Cutter? It's not because he's a channel swimmer, if that's what you're implying. No, I I, I want Tesla name. Oh no, I like it. Um, <laughs> no, is it, 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 it his uh, name? Um, it, it is uh, Cutter because he um, it, because he was involved in um, heavy heavy uh, drug dealing back in the day, and so as a result, um, he had to get out of it because he was cutting the drugs with. Um, with too much uh, base and diluting it too much, had to go into hiding. Look, someone had to fund the Sandinistas after North went South. All right? It had to be taken care of. That's all I'll say. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Side note, just made me think of this, but um, story insert. Does it involve uh, were, a small deer in your rear <laughs> axle? <laughs> no, it, it doesn't yeah, involve that code it, does, for it does involve gross. a small a small girl who used to work for me at Wendy's. <laughs> her her nickname was Cutter, and because she was like this little girl, she was like only like ninety eight pounds, and she was like probably four foot nine. But that bitch could carry like two cases of fries. And so we used to call her Cutter because she was like a leaf cutter ant. Like she could carry 10 times. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <yeah, yeah, yeah. laughs> <laughs> we used to call her Cutter because she can't. It's so, that is the well, coolest fucking nickname I have ever heard. The best thing is, is like for Chris, for, for Halloween one time, she dressed with, she had these little antenna and she cut out this giant leaf out of like three poster boards and put it on her back. <laughs> I was like a, a shark fan. Sorry, dude. You, you, it's it's so a Tara, memory. That is the coolest nickname ever. If it's mm-hmm. like got a backstory, but if it's like, why do they call you Cutter? Well, I'm who they rely on to like make sure that I open boxes. Like that, it's got to have a backstory that's okay. Like it yeah, can't so just be a story attached. I cut right. drugs. I carry shit. It can't be like. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think those are really the only two. Yeah, or or maybe he's like part of like uh, you know to think of Yellowstone. He's part of like the National Horse Cutting Association. I'm, I'm, the, I mean, the obvious the, one that comes from me. He's a barber. He's just like barber. horses. <laughs> horse cutting. Uh, I, I, I mean, I hate to go there, but it's like um, cutting horses. The obvious one that comes to me is somebody who's really into self injurious behaviors. But yeah, um, or Sweeney Todd, oh, Sweeney oh, Todd. Oh, you know, little little demon barber of Fleet Street over here. And it couldn't be that he was using agents to cut the beast, you know, sugar, starch, baking powder, caffeine, rat poison, guanine, you name it. I mean, <laughs> if it's white and powdery, but I digress. He could, he, he tossed all kinds of stuff in it. Laxatives. Dog powder. <laughs> baking <laughs> powder. <laughs> powder milk. Powder milk. Is the title of this episode just going to be no. So far off the rails. No, this the title. Uh, it was supposed to be just a planning episode. We decided to stream it the last That's minute. So for planning episode. It, it is. It is quote. Okay, ellipsis. All right. So ellipsis. There's this key card so far. <laughs> like, <laughs> so there's this key card. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. So you guys, some role playing me. You guys with uh, <laughs> with some help of Cutter. Uh, he has this old uh, Blackwater HQ. Uh, that has been uh, basically abandoned in Iraq. Uh, and he sets you up there, kind of like a really poorly f- furnished CIA black site. May, may I describe Cutter when they first see him? Absolutely. Yeah, please. Yeah. yeah, what does he look like as you guys are getting How off the helicopter? How are we going to recognize him if you don't? You see a strong, well-formed uh, African-American man with bluish color to his skin, lips, and nails and pinpoint pupils. His skin looks cold, clammy. Slightly sluggishness and slight mental confusion sort of comes in and out of his actions as he speaks to you, as if he's going into a trance and then comes back out again. But his action and economy with every step shows that he's a pro. He knows exactly what he's doing when he's high off his balls. <laughs> Whoa. The fact that he's cold and clammy and 115 degrees. I was going to say, we're going to. 
is completely we're, we're amazing. In a desert, he's cold and clammy. I'm concerned. <laughs> you ever see? Uh, oh, what's his? Oh name? my! <laughs> Who was that? Uh, that's quite party. an achievement. Get whacked in Iraq. Get whacked in Iraq. I love these. I love our chat. <laughs> the, those who survive the fucking incidents with the internet and come back to say things like that. So ogre, yeah. if you if I if you don't have a Mithrigage shirt, stickers, and who knows what else I can fit in the the flat rate box, like <laughs> send me an email. And, and I know, and I know that we have Thorg on deck for the, so, supposedly for this uh, Wild Dawn episode. But or if you're interested in Campaign, joining right. the stream, we do have uh, joining the stream. We do have some possible opportunities coming up. And please send us a, an email at gm at misbrigade dot com. Yeah, you did. Okay, good. I'm not okay, welcome. Yeah, thanks. Right. And welcome. fucking John Wick. What's that dude's name? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the dude. My, the, you mean the my dude buddy? That, yeah, yeah, yeah. The buddy? dude that Tara's good friend. Dude, Tara's, Tara's minion. Great friend. Tara's he's minion. So the, the dude. He the has crazy, not accepted my friendship yeah. on Facebook. For the, just so so that, <laughs> seriously, we're gonna run seven C. We're all gonna be pirates, and every once in a while, chaosium con. Yeah. Every yeah. Every once in a while, we're gonna. How ref- long it'll take? Yeah. We will. <laughs> we will refer to John Wick. Every so often, it's gonna be a one shot. It's a one shot. It's gonna be like John Wick meets John Wick. <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> That'd be gross. How much lube are you bringing to that? Fifty-five <laughs> gallon drums worth. Stop. I gotta erase this off the internet. That's mean. Sorry. If that would probably right. like ogre. Perfect. Ogre for hire is probably John Wick, and he's like, hell. <laughs> if so, we're fucked. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Moving on. Let's anyway, go. Let's go. So yeah, so you guys, you guys find your way to uh, Sunny Tikrit, which is, I think it's like fifty to one hundred miles north of Baghdad, but it is secure, nonetheless. Remnants of. Uh, uh, nice. Well, not remnants. Honestly, they're still in Baghdad. They're still the green zone in 2010, 2012. Yeah, you still have the green zone and shit in, uh, in Baghdad and in Tigrid. So it's still a controlled. You guys are outside of the controlled area of the U.S. military uh, in, in Baghdad or in Iraq, I should say, not just necessarily Baghdad. But, uh, but yeah, you guys have a safe house there. Um, that you can, uh, you know, use for your uh, enjoyment. Uh, we'll say that uh, there was a brief stopover at some surgical facility where uh, Dr. Mitchell uh, probably spent some of her points to um, acquire a surgeon that could take care of uh, Tesla's situation. And uh, some uh, PT training for... Um yeah. For uh, Evan and I. Yeah, Cutter can help you um, <clears throat> get the medical equipment you need if anything especially is required. The fact that he's a logistics magician is only strange by the fact that his only luggage is a small foil container of black tar Mexican heroin <laughs> and a bottle of Tylenol PM he uses to cut it. It's strange, <laughs> but that's all he needs. <laughs> that's all Resourceful. He, needs. he travels light. That. He travels light. <laughs> a bag of Mexican tar <laughs> and a bottle of Tylenol PM. Well, so, so on, a, on a, a side note, probably during this time in my in my drug induced days of pain and misery, um, probably you probably uh, hear a what, uh, hear hear me uh, talking about my wife and daughter who oh. uh, are dead. <laughs> Um, so like probably uh, like, like basically is saying, uh, m- mumbling their names and, and other, uh, Ooh. Ooh. this shit just got dark. Hi. Yeah, it's true, but it would happen. So I think as, as Evan is, is hovering, seriously, like there's this, I can't let this guy go. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he hears this. Right. And he's like, oh, then they're, they're not dead. They're just waiting for you. You'll see them soon enough. Toughen up, Rosebud. We've got work to do. Remember? I, and then I like, 
exit stage left before he wakes up and looks at me because I, I don't want I want him to hear it but not hear it because he might hurt me. He'd like put C four up my bum. I would like talking to a guy in a coma. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like you're Get, getting all of off his you. chest to you, but you not Woo! knowing. Yeah. And but, then I can't I keep just, dosing him with propofol to make his memory white. I can't but, but, keep, keep doing this. But never, but clearly never being far enough that anyone could fuck with him. But me, like psychologically, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's whatever. But I'm not, you know. That's that's my so, dur- so during this all time, right. I would uh, get Evan and Dr. Mitchell together because Evan was giving me some weird mixed signals. About having a conversation. Okay. Ooh, ooh, on stream. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good because it has been off until until now. Crack. <laughs> Tara's like, give me a real vampire, bitch. Because I'm like, it's sausages. Sausages. Yeah. So, so what? What does Lily say with her backpack or whatever? <laughs> Uh, you wanted to have a chat you were saying something when we were in uh, Lil's compound I think he's eating like a he's eating a can of Vienna sausage because that, it's a it's safe house nasty. yeah but it's a safe house there's canned weird food so he's eating some some weird Vienna sausage and some pork and beans because those are dude pork and beans and lots of USMREs yeah <laughs> Awkward. Um, doctor. Oh fuck. Yeah. In the moment, Doctor doc, Doctor Mitchell. So. Um, yeah. The, the MRE that you're eating right now is chipped beef. Chipped beef. Chipped beef. Shit oh. on the shingle. So good. <laughs> this chip. I've got spaghetti. So good and room temperature. It's gonna stick with the with the dehydrated ice cream. Thank you. So. So. Look, oh no, that's 2010. I know that. Dr. Mitchell, Terry, and I, I kind of okay. put my hand on on Terry's arm and then sort of. I watch one of our strongest fall. Um. He, even now he suffers, and you, we struggle to keep him all right. Um. There is a better way, and we both know it. There, there we, um, we learn sometimes to weaponize fire against things that are flammable or poison against things that are, are not suspecting of our presence. And I think we need to come together and recognize that the actual weapon that matters here is the blood. And I give Terry this knowing look. We can save them all. And if it means a thousand lifetimes of suffering or whatever they do turning to dust when the next round of fucking idiots come to kill them is it not worth it I think it is and I think it's time that we that we provide Johnny with the weapons that he needs to make this real she's still around she will give us the gift. We've but to ask. Verizon? Well, I, I, I would remember, uh, Byron, remind me of Lily's trigger with the thing. I was there. I saw it firsthand. What was it? Oh, the uh, detective. The detective? For all of it. Do you just want to be one of them? Or do you want to be the equalizing force that makes this all stop? How long has it been since um, the cave? Mm. Uh, how far fast forward in the convalesce of... I wouldn't have um, waited day like... To I mean, this is I this has got to be within a week. So we've gotten yeah. surgery, so this is, stability, and we're back. Yeah, yeah. So I, so I wouldn't have waited more than a week. Okay, to confront them in a, the sense. 
Okay. So, uh, so yeah, I would, I would say that it's, uh, it's been about that long or so. No, since the cave. Oh, since the cave, um, probably no more than three weeks, four weeks. Because you guys okay. didn't pester. You guys didn't, re- didn't really. Pe- oh no, because you guys spent what two weeks in recon of the facility. I think uh, in the desert. So probably I'm going to say six weeks. Okay. Um, during which time, uh, I guess I'm just going to say uh, my, my emotions are still high. Like I've been distracted by this, um, by everything. <laughs> my dog just hit the button that drops my chair. Um, at least, at least, at least it didn't show on the floor. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's funny. Funny. Right. Like, um, <laughs> <laughs> we're, um, we're in a serious moment, Mika. <laughs> Jesus. Comedic uh, timing check. Um so um I I'm still really uh, I was very distracted by this op and the preparation and then you know this week with with Tesla's injury, but um now that he's stable and and we're not actively prepping um, the, the horror of the cave and, and everything that we saw in that reality is seeping back into my consciousness and the forefront of my mind. And I'm, I'm, um, finding myself overtaken again by that, that rage, um, and that, uh, desire for, uh, retribution, um, that I was initially besieged with immediately after, um, the shock of, of finding my sponsor and, and all of our loved ones in the cave. Um, so we haven't probably haven't talked for a week or so uh, the, about the, the blood gift, but, um, but I, I have, I want to tell you, Evan, that I'm, I'm very conflicted about Tesla. Um, I still believe that that is the way forward, but I, I, we can't do that to him. It has to be his choice. Does it? And I I think there's this moment where I, I sort of press Terry against the wall and hold this, the last of my, my blood from the mistress and maybe my last, my last okay dose, right? I've got this. He'll be fine in moments. And he may hate me forever. But he'll have his fucking vengeance. And we'll win this war. Otherwise, what are we but mortal? How many of us have they killed Terry for fuck's sake? Thousands of us. You can't take his humanity from him. As much as I love the idea of getting vengeance and paying back all the hatred and distraught (laughs) he has caused us. We can't be the people to make that decision for him. Do you just want to watch him die? Is that what you want to do? Because he's that fucking fool that will just march in with without equalizing any of the battlefield he will march in and he will be well intended we, we can will... make that decision for ourselves we can't make it for him then talk we're no him. better than him if we take his his choice away from him then wake no him. better than them wake him and talk to him for fuck's sake terry okay. That's terry fair. he trusts fair. You. i i second that yes okay or what about this other serum that we have <laughs> What, what, what? <laughs> we have the scaly guy serum. Oh, he would love better pectoral muscles. I was looking at <laughs> his internet history. He was looking up Beachbody uh, 2022. Um, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Right. Maybe that. That's a gateway drug, isn't it? <laughs> you were the chosen one. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. I like how I like how Tyler's camera shakes when he does that. Like, I shook my table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like 
But okay, I have you're gonna have high, to repeat whatever you said. We but I have the high ground. <laughs> no, I said, yeah, fucking, I, I said, uh, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, yeah, I don't know what I said. It was a gateway drug, whatever. Yeah. So no, I said, I know, I was trolling drug. his internet history, and I just realized, like, um, <laughs> he, he's very interested in pectoral muscles and upper body fitness and all those things. So yeah, maybe that, maybe that serum that, would be the right. right that left arm injury is really gonna weigh him down. <laughs> But and I, I sort of, I, I pin, I think I pin Lily with my gaze and like, but is it any better the you offer that? He's a hybrid. He's a mistake. We all are. That, but like, perhaps we are. It's not our decision. I believe. I, can, I, believe I chose my life. I chose to kill the people I did. Well, that makes That's you a all fucking cunt, doesn't it? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's all on me. <laughs> I smack Evan upside the back of the head. Oh, sorry. I, there's a lot of people. Just since I've known it. <laughs> Let me show you the data. There's a list. It's <laughs> a fucking lot of people. And I have access I'll, to that data. I have to live with those decisions. Yes. I've seen that data in the power sheet, PowerPoint <laughs> presentations that you provided our monthly meetings. <laughs> Excellent graphics. Thank well you done. Very much. I've got videos. It still here. has got, to be uh, his choice. I have a large terabyte drive of just videos of everyone. <laughs> I wear a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> you have a teardrop for everyone yeah. you can kill? Yeah. It, it just goes down around my entire body. <laughs> It no just looks like she's crying. <laughs> yeah, right. All down her chest. Evan, it's got to be, no matter which one of those things we do, it's got to be Tesla's choice. I'm just saying we have multiple options here, but it has to be his choice. Um, I'm all for waking him up and letting him make that choice. Um, and I believe that he probably will not want to wait a full year to get back into action. I'm sure that he will be find our arguments compelling in his current situation. Reality is this, Terry, he, 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 he's a strong man and he will refuse our aid and he will insist on getting back into action and he will be fucking killed and I will not watch him die. I won't. So you have your conversation but you just mark my word. I'll not lose another. And I fucking... It, what, really? Every fucking time? Wow. You, um... Did you catch... Wow. Yes, we caught it. What? Um, I, I don't know. Whatever, whatever it was. It was very but, dramatic. <laughs> whatever it was. It was very dramatic. It was, it was very, very dramatic. Um, it was, it was a great dramatic pause you have there. Yeah. Um, effective use of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the dramatic pause. Uh so yeah, so Tesla, while um, while they're off having this conversation, and you're in this um, state of um, unconsciousness, basically based off of the amount of drugs and stuff that they've given you, uh, you have a wide variety of, of um, dreams or visions or whatever you want to call them. Um, in uh, you don't know whether it's like a, the change in the scenery or what exactly it is. But uh, you have these dreams of this group of uh, people traveling over land um, in the deserts of, um, you're not really sure, just desert, the dunes, walking the sand deep around their feet um, in these uh, long, uh, dark cloaks. Can't really see their, their um their facial expressions or anything like that, because they seem to be traveling what seems to be away from you. Um, and they're up over the rise and so forth. And um, you, you can actually, at first you think you're just having visions and then, and then you feel like almost like a drone where you're like weaving over top. Those don't of exist. Like, point of view. <laughs> point of view. They exist. You know, back order. They exist or just on back order. Um, uh, so yeah, so it, it's almost like a point of view style thing where you can see over the shoulder of maybe one of the lead 
people and uh and 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 one of the people reaches the crest of this this dune and and points down uh it's wielding some sort of staff um it has an an open eye uh sideways in within like the top of this the staff um which seems to be made out of some sort of old withered wood um and uh it points down over the hill um uh, one of the individuals, probably about three or four back, um, you could guess uh, a female, um, uh, kind of reaches the, the crest of the hill, and then the point of view changes. Um, and you can see almost like you're seeing through their eyes. And you can see down over the hill, like what looks like a Babylonian city. But not a Babylonian city like in ruins the vibrant painted walls, oh, shit. the murals, you can smell like your senses, like you're, you're awake. You can smell this clearly. You can almost taste the, the, the saffron and other spices and things that are in the air drifting this way from the city, enticing you to look deeper within the walls. Um, you, you feel almost like you float ahead of them and you come to the, to the gates, a vibrant blue arch, horses of immaculate uh, ivory woven into the sides of the walls. The gates ahead of you, you feel intrigued. Like there's more. Do you enter? Oh shit. Yeah. Don't head for the light, Tesla. What the fuck? Stay out of the light, man. <laughs> you, you you enter through the doors, they open like fifty to hundred people in a variety of dress that you could only describe as richly tapestried wearing masks of gold and a woven uh, fabrics of bright, vibrant reds and blues and yellows and uh, what you would de determine to be somewhat like a, I don't know, maybe an Egyptian palette or very, very bright Indian style palette of things. Um, you find yourself walking dazed like smoke in your eyes, you, you rub your eyes, the ashes burning, but yet you, you make your way through. You hear sounds of perhaps snake charmer flutes or so forth. You see baskets on the side of the alleyways and so forth, and you find yourself at a door made of some sort of wood, maybe olive wood or some sort. You do, are the people are, are, are the people still behind me as I'm kind of moving You're ahead? not sure. It seems like you've you've passed them by somehow. Uh, like like I was both a part of them but then yeah. Somehow, yeah. all of a sudden again. Correct. Like you've, you've somehow taken your own view of what like the situation is, or your own path. All right. So if I, the, the, this door, do, do I, I almost want to reach out and touch it with whatever would count as almost like an appendage. Yeah. You, you reach out. You, you can feel like it, at first it kind of like tricks you out, but you, you, you knock with your arm the one that you know is wounded. It feels strange, yet whole. The door opens, a woman standing there in a dark black cloak. Uh, her mask kind of runs down the center of her forehead under her eyes in a vibrant red sash, followed by layers of what looks to be like gold medallions or amulets and brass just vibrant uh, a, a chain mail almost behind it 
and so forth. And she says, do you seek salvation? Yes, and anything. Then come, let us talk by the fire. You go in and there is pillows on the floor. She sits cross-legged and she says, I have sensed that you seek something, a way, a way to become what you truly should be, your path. I sensed that you were perhaps not sure. And she, she folds out a piece of parchment and as she rolls it out, it's almost like sand pouring out like a 3D topography. And she could see two paths in the sand leading to different places. And she says, one leads to survival, but at a cost. One leads to the salvation of others, but at a sacrifice. Is there a path which your heart bleeds? And she reaches out and she reaches into your chest and she pulls out your heart and it's beating in her hand and the blood is dripping through her fingers onto the desert. Clear. <laughs> Where does the blood drop? Oh, wow. Damn. Dark compressions. <laughs> Dr. Mitchell, we can't lose him. For fuck's sake, we can't lose him. Uh, it, it drops on to survival, but at a cost. Ooh. She says, as I anticipated, and so have others. And she says, while you will not be the same, you will still be healed. And she reaches out her wrist and she takes her finger and she slices it with her nail and she presents it to a golden chalice covered in horses of silver and ebony and turquoise and different. Seeing as how I chose this path, and Byron, Byron, can you stream. rewind to the gold? Go, I'm sorry, could you rewind? There was a thing with the stream. Could you oh, rewind, no. rewind to a, the golden turquoise? Rewind there because this is beautiful. Yes, she's pouring what seems to be her lifeblood draining from her arm into this golden chalice covered in turquoise and ivory and ebony horses. Some of the horses almost look like zebras because the ebony and the ivory are kind of blended together with other colors in a variety of like cultures in a way, a language written on the cup that you cannot understand. She presents it to you and she says, your destiny is but one drink away. I'll take it from her about as reverently as I can, even though it feels uh, uh, completely unreal. And I'll, uh, I, and I'll just whisper partially to her, but almost uh, mostly to myself. And it's like, it's like at any cost and then I'll drink. And then she says, for every God, has a pawn and she pulls the mask away and you recognize the vampire from the nightclub anika oh, shit no no not the other team, and she says bro. come on you welcome my child we shall do wonderful things together and that's where we're gonna end the stream oh. <laughs>